We're now joined by news editor Zakir Hussain to further discuss uh, the developments so far. Zakir, the Ivan Lim episode has been a talking point for the past few days, even though it has somewhat ended with Mr Lim quitting and his replacement announced just this morning. How do you think this will affect voters? And will there be any long-term repercussions? I think those are quite um, two interesting questions. How will it affect voters? I think um, it depends. It's hard to say. I think it will affect the conf voters' confidence in the PAP selection process somewhat. Um, although the party has said that um, you know, it will investigate uh, Ivan after the elections, but uh, Ivan himself withdrew as he felt that the issue was distracting from other core issues that should be addressed in this election. Um, as to how it would affect, uh, you know, have a longer term impact, I think uh, PM Lee um, did allude to it when he said, you know, we can't just have this trial by internet, which was basically what happened to Ivan Lim. Uh, lots of angry netizens um, jumped on uh, some issues and basically, um, you know, made him dominate the headlines to an extent where having him, you know, where he, both Ivan and the party, I think, felt that having him on board would be detrimental um, to the party. Um, but at the same time, I think it could affect um, good candidates sort of wanting to step forward or wanting to even agreeing to enter politics. Um, and I think it's not just something in Singapore, but globally where candidates, you know, will have um, in their past dug up and friends and, um, you know, even former colleagues who may not like them, you know, uh, sling accusations. We've seen that happen to a couple of other candidates today, um, Sean Huang as well as Ng Ling Ling, and both of them have come out in recent days to address um, these accusations about them. Mm. Right. Well, also announced today, engineer Dr. Lee B. Wah's retirement from politics. So, Zakia, what would she be most remembered for, you think? I think uh, Dr. Lee has been quite a colourful, fiery character in, in Parliament, you know, raising uh, issues. Um, I remember she got chided once for uh, using a not so clean um, Hokkien phrase in, in, in um, Parliament once. Um, and she's picked up on her pet causes, you know, be it an overhead pedestrian bridge or, um, you know, um, people throwing sanitary pads down housing board flats. And I think those are some of her speeches that we remember. Um, and it's not just, you know, these aren't just um, things then. I think even recently during COVID, when traditional medicine halls had to close, um, Dr. Lee put up quite an impassioned um, argument as to why these are essential services. And I think um, got that decision reconsidered uh, quite soon after. Mm. Now let's uh, focus on the opposition. Uh, Tanji Se dissolved his party last week and now wants to rejoin uh, SDP. Do you have any insights on what his plans are? Well, um, I think the, parties, the party and him have not announced that fully, but um, I'm expecting Dr. Tan to contest the, Mr. Tan to contest the election as a candidate for the SDP. Um, whether it's for the Bukit Panjang single seats or the Masling UT uh, GRC, we will see. Um, but SDP was the, v, was the party uh, Mr. Tan used when he first entered politics in 2011. So maybe he's coming full circle. Well, Zakia, nomination day is tomorrow when we will know for sure who is contesting where. What can we expect from tomorrow's proceedings and are we uh, likely to see uh, last minute changes? I think so. I think uh, there's several things to look out for. I think on the PAP side, um, it's. I think this is the first time in a number of elections that it's not finalised its key slates uh, till the last minute. You know, we're not clear who's standing in some of the single seats. We're not clear who's helming some of the significant GRCs, Pasiris Bungal GRC, um, East Coast GRC, and even Tampines GRC. And I think there's a question mark over whether Senior Minister Teo Chi Hien um, Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swee Kiet, um, or even senior ministers like Desmond Lee, will actually, um, you know, stand in the East Coast GRC, which is expected to be one uh, to watch. Likewise, the Workers' Party, although they've said the Aljunit slate will remain, we're not sure whether some of their leaders might make last-minute swaps and stand in Sengkang or East Coast GRC. And I think this is where both sides are sort of um, preparing to make their moves and adjust. And as we all know, um, with the election, nothing's final till the nominations are submitted tomorrow morning. Well, thank you so much, Zakir. Always a pleasure to speak with you. We were speaking to news editor Zakir Hussain on the latest developments in the general election.